YouTube, Electric Adventures here with a uh, pickup and play video. Um, this is actually a package uh, in a plastic bag here. Uh, no, it didn't travel like that. This has actually been sent over from Gary or Big G from SA over in South Africa. Um, his niece was travelling to Australia and Tasmania. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't get to meet her because uh, I was busy running around the kids. Um, and uh, yeah, they just had so much on, but she dropped it on the front doorstep. Um, and it looks like it's got quite a lot of items in it. So thank you very much, Gary. Well, let's have a look what he put in there. Let's go undo the knot. I thought I'd do the video straight away. Of course, it felt really bad because Gary and I did a trade a, um, a little while ago. Um, and um, I'll show you those again. I might as well make this a single video. But he sent me Metal Slug 2 on the MVS. I haven't had a chance to properly um, record any gameplay from it uh, because I've been having trouble with my arcade setup, which is almost ready. So, what I'll probably do is just do some separate plays of these. And a second one, which is King of Fighters, I think it's King of Fighters 96. King of Fighters 96. Now, um, MVS carts, obviously they've had a lot of um, a lot of play, but um, I'm sure they will still, he tested them before he sent them, so they'll work fine. Now he sent me quite an assortment of items in here. Now the first one, um, and this is quite nice, it's actually a sealed uh, Dreamcast controller. So it's still all in its original plastic packaging that is, that it, and it's still sealed. So that's really cool. I actually don't have any spare Dreamcast controllers at all. Um, another Dreamcast item, and it's a VMU also in the box, and it's a nice blue one too. I believe, yeah, I may have a turquoise colour one, and another one over there that I got loose a little while ago. But that's the first one I've got a box for, so that's really nice. Uh, my Dreamcast um, collection is is fairly sp sparse, if you know what I mean. Um, there's a PSP game in here as well. Now, I believe I definitely don't have this one either, and this is supposed to be quite a good game. It's Ratchet and Clank. Now, which one is it? Size Matters? I'm not sure whether that was the first one or not. It's the, it's the Essentials version, that doesn't matter. This would have been one of the ones he picked up in his um, auction ones. I'm sure I saw that in an auction, one of his auction videos where he goes to the auctions in South Africa and um, he's, his persistence pays off and he, um, and he finds some quite interesting stuff. We're going to jump around systems here, I think. Now, this is a title for the Wii U and no, I definitely don't have it and I haven't played any of the games in the series even, and it's Darksiders 2. Our Wii U has actually fallen into a bit of period of, um, it hasn't been used much lately by the kids. Um, and probably the last game that I played on it um, was uh, Star Fox. Was Star Fox, so it'd be nice to have another game on that. So, that looks pretty cool. Uh, I think jumping around again. Oh no, no, these are all PlayStation 2 games, I think, and there's something else in there. So we have Gran Turismo 4. In what case? It's quite heavy too, must have a big, thick manual. Ah, rugby 06. Rugby games. Just the disc for that one. High School Musical Sing It. I'm not sure the, the girls actually collect those. I'm not sure they've actually got that one, so uh, the girls will be very much into that one. That one's complete as well. I uh, definitely haven't played this game. It's Need for Speed Carbon. From the Need for, Need for Speed series. There's quite a few games in the series. And we have the Platinum Edition of Resident Evil 4. Really, really good game, Resident Evil 4. 
it's just the just the disc and an extra wrench for that one, but that's pretty cool. And yeah, by the way, I don't think I had Gran Turismo 4. I didn't mention that. Um, Gran Turismo 5 for the PlayStation 3. I didn't actually realise there was a PlayStation 3 in there, so I've gone out of order. Platinum version. One of my PlayStation 3s broke down, but I still have another one. And recently, I um, I bought one for about $100 from our local cash converters. It was less than $100. It was only, what, $83 with a controller, power supply, and all the hookups. And I took it down to our holiday home, uh, mainly to act as a Blu-ray and media player. Plus, we can also play PlayStation games down there. So, um, these will probably be going down there at Christmas. Uh, God of War 2. I've only actually played God of War 1. So be good to move on to the next one in that series. I uh, don't think I've got this one, I definitely haven't played it. Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. I may have the one with the collection, that's all. Uh, oh, I haven't heard of this one at all. So we've got Hack Mutation. Not sure whether it's an RPG. Simulated multi emorph for RPG, so no internet connection required. Okay, so it's an RPG. Cool. It's very heavy too. Uh, two discs and a manual. Excellent. I haven't heard of that one at all. And, oh, actually, there is a note here. I've gone to the icons and the, the note had fallen down the side. And we have a video pack title. This is really cool. And it's, um, Oh, it's called Crazy Chase, or is this uh, is this is this KC Munction? Is it? But it says Crazy Chase. I'm 45. I don't have KC Munction, by the way. Looks an awful lot like it. Crazy Chase Super gl Gluton Super Chambers Rush. So, um, okay. And if you've got the Super module, it um, the um, expanded memory 4K. Not sure which game uh, this one is. We're going to have to give it a go. I haven't had the um, video pack out for ages. And there's the cart, and it's got the manual, which is in the front there as well. That's really cool. That's a very cool extra bonus there. Now, let's read the note that was hidden in down the side. It says, "Hi Tony, packed a few duplicates for you. Hopefully you do not have all of them. My sister visited, so I made use of her as a courier to take them back to us. It was a sister, right? Okay." Cheers from South Australia, Gary. Well, Gary, there's the note there. Thank you very, very much for those. That was very much appreciated. And I had a couple of them. That's all. Most of them I didn't have at all. Um, so what I'll try and do before I get this video out, we'll try and have a gameplay of that one. I probably won't do any of the PS2 stuff because that will take me too long. And I feel bad enough about not getting the video out for the other one. So... I'll put those together and um, we'll go do have a look at those now. Right, <coughs> so I've got the Metal Slug 2 cartridge to work. It's excellent actually running a real MVS cartridge. My sound is still very much cobbled up. Obviously we're going out to a CRT and uh, the refresh rates the camera is not liking with, but it's working. Uh, we're only working on one speaker so it's not very loud either. Uh, temporarily rigged up with a amplifier. Put a credit in. Every time I press my credit button, I get two for some reason, but let's have a go. I haven't played Metal Slug 2 for quite some time. Let's get into it. Right, choose the default dude.
Slow do this. Keep on shooting. Got some bombs. Good. Now this is the probably had enough flickery game but as you can see it is an absolutely fantastic game so thank you Gary for sending this all the way over from South Africa and uh, giving me my very first MVS title I'll we'll try the King of Fighters another time because I really want to get this video out all right let's try our Phillips video pet game <clears throat> right here we go with uh, crazy chase on the video pack G7000 which the capture is working I'm still having some frame rate issues, so I apologize in advance. I really do need a better PC here, but the hard drive I'm after still hasn't arrived. So let's start this. This is I've actually had a game, a couple of goes of this trying to get the capture working, so it's actually quite a good fun game. Okay, I'm the blue guy in the middle. Oops, I almost died straight away. Um, 
Now, I, I grab these, which give you one point. Uh, but the whole idea is you actually have to eat the tail of the um, centipede. And once you do that, it's actually like you've got a power pill and you can eat the, um, the enemies or ghosts or monsters, whatever they are. And you see, every time the centipede gets one of the mushrooms, it's, for a start, starts being colourful. And gets faster. So, something you don't want it to do. But those things keep on appearing. Well, and the level ends when you've eaten all the parts of the centipede, like that. It's actually quite a good fun little game. I hadn't heard of this one before. So I said you can do what I'm doing now, which is go and quickly uh, end the level. But it probably doesn't do you any good at all. Like no bonus points other than finishing the level. And as you can see, it gets hard. the one life and... yeah and then you start again which is what most Odyssey games do and so 130 is my high score yeah. oh you can actually not eat him from the end too that's interesting Ooh, that was close I suppose the idea is you nibble off one piece and then you go get these guys. Probably pushing it there. Oh! And the centipede can kill me too. So it actually really is a fun game and I'm glad I can capture some Odyssey footage. I just like I said I apologise for the frame rate several times and it's um it's failed on me so all right we'll, we'll leave it at that um I'll just reset this so we don't have the noise moving right. um so gary thank you very 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 much for sending these games all the way over from south africa they really are appreciated um uh, especially the um, MVS Metal Slug 2. I've uh, wanted an original MVS game, and especially one of the shooters like that, for quite some time. Um, so definitely some very nice items. Now I sent Gary some items, some MSX cartridges a while back. That was the original exchange. Um, him sending me these extra items is... Um, he said he'd send me some more things, but uh, I didn't realise what he was going to be sending me. So very nice stuff. I'll of course keep out for look for some more MSX titles that I can send down to Gary because he um, doesn't have very many opportunities to get MSX titles down where he is. All right, uh, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Make sure you go check out Gary's channel. Um, I'm Electric Adventures. Thanks to all my subscribers. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time.